Okay, this is back um, almost two weeks in a row now. Another Molly's Mine. We got rave reviews on that first one. Mm -hmm. So we decided to come back with another one. Um, Molly, it's your mind. So what are we minding about? Okay, so I thought I would pull out my book of questions because no one really put comments there was one in there about afterlife and what do you think someone about commented afterlife? on our notebooks okay that we're writing stuff down in <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see the notebook sometimes we actually do like write notes about things that you say that i don't want to forget or well you know how people on like news anchor shows they always have like fake coffee mugs and stuff like that like we have to have some fake prop. No, you can't even see our table Mine's so how did someone prop. see the notebook I think I was like, I, the camera might have been like more down last time. Oh. So you could see it. But. Well, I've got this Coca Cola. It's, I don't even know what this is, but it's disgusting. <laughs> Coca Cola with coffee and vanilla. So it's just a whole bunch of like yeah, weird disgusting. tasting. Okay. So, anyways, I got this book of questions. Um, I actually bought this for a road trip for a court and I when we drove to New York, but he didn't want to do it with me. <laughs> so. I bringing was it here probably like instagramming on probably on the, on the drive probably i once got pulled over and they said um it was like three in the morning and hopefully in the middle no, of ohio yeah hopefully there's no hopefully the what's it called the double jeop i can't double jeopardy they can't uh get me on this one but it was like three in the morning and i was driving and everyone was sleeping so it was my instagram time there was nobody on the road that's what you were doing <laughs> What did I know? What were you doing on Instagram at three in the morning? <laughs> Just scrolling. What else? Are you I thought you were at like the changing morning? the podcast or something. Oh, I probably was. That's like more. <laughs> <laughs> but a cop pulled me over, and there was like three of them in their damn car. It was during COVID, and none of them had masks on, and they were like, "We caught you swerving at point thirty nine, point thirty seven, point thirty six, point like." And I was like, "What?" You said mile marker. Like mile markers, and like we have our like two car seats in the back i was like i'm not drunk i'm just instagramming let me go and they didn't give me a ticket no they were more like i think if it they were seeing who who it was if you were swerving and they're like we just wanted to make sure you weren't tired um but and if, if you're you a break, yeah and i just want to make sure that you have your mask on yeah because he was on my side all up in my face and um and they were in my face too and i was yeah. like not having they weren't shit. on your face they didn't come to your side Oh, he gave the ticket on your side. He started on my side, and you know it. There was one on your side. There was one no, on my side. No, they were both on my side to start. Because he had me put down my window. I was passed oh, out Oh, there was sleeping. nobody on my side? Yeah, they came to the passenger side door, which is like Oh, so common. they started both were on Molly's then, side because we were on the highway, so you didn't want to have yeah. his butt, like, potentially get hit by someone because it was dark. And then when they gave me the warning... Which, one, is just a waste of paper, because, like, if it's a warning, like, what am <laughs> yeah. I doing with it? Yeah. Like, I'm not might, putting it on my refrigerator. They might, like, um... Document it or something? It. Yeah. I got a I got a warning when I was pregnant with Nick, and I hysterically cried, and he, like, let me go. Because you're, yeah. I was pregnant, and I had to go pee so First bad. First off, how's my haircut look? It's a little boxy. I didn't cut it. He went and got it done because I, I hate I went to hair. sports clips. It's a little boxy looking, but had to get it done for the All Super right. Bowl. All right. Anyways, for the Super Bowl, we're not even doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so book of questions. So I'm going to ask you a question, and okay. that's what that's going to be our topic today. All right. Do you seek or avoid routines in your life? For instance, sleeping in the same part of your bed, ordering the same meals, returning to the same vacation spots. Why? So to answer the first part of the question, I don't think I seek it. Like, I don't think I like seek out to do things in a routine mm -hmm. um, unless like it's like something that I'm really dedicated towards, like working out or trying to eat You're healthy dedicated to working out and eating healthy. When, when i'm dedicated to working out and eating healthy <gasps> then i will um what's the question routine do you seek or avoid then i'll seek like a routine if i'm looking to do something like for a purpose but i've always said this to you like when i'm eating healthy and i go like pretty strict eating healthy is like i don't think i can keep this routine up forever like how long am i gonna do a low carb diet mm -hmm. or how long am i yeah. gonna like go running around the block, <laughs> you know, like yeah. some people run their whole lives, but like eventually yeah. when I'm 90, I'm not going to be doing the same thing that I'm doing when I'm 32 right now. But like, mm -hmm. so 
I seek routine when I'm like setting out a goal to like do that, I guess in the short term. But in the long term, I think my routines are just like natural by nature. Like I sleep on my side of the bed, you sleep on your side of the bed because like uh, you always sleep like you always used to sweat and uh, like in the middle of the night so your side of the bed is disgusting with like sweat and like pillows are yellow and shit like that <laughs> they're not yellow <laughs> no that's just because we have old pillows but like no, I'll, s <laughs> I'll sleep oh i just sleep on my side of the bed because it's my side of the bed but like i don't know I, when you when you when you like mention this to me about routine that was like the first thing that came to my mind was just like why don't like why can't i just sleep yeah. on your why can't i just like yeah. you walk into the room and i'm on your side of the bed yeah. you would be like you'd be so confused by it yeah. but at the end of the day like why do we do that or yeah. like um yeah so, I don't know. okay so i have a couple of thoughts on that but i'll address the bed thing first i think with the bed it wouldn't be as big of a deal if we didn't have like our nightstands with my stuff on it your stuff on it like I have, I have hypothyroidism, so I take my thyroid medicine in the morning. It's, like, right there for me to grab. So if I were to sleep on your side, I have to move my medication. I would have to, like, move my hand lotion. I had to move, like, all the things that make me comfortable. My sleep mask, all of those things. So you got, like, a uh, dehumidifier or humidifier? Yeah, like, all the stuff on my side of the bed that I like to have. So that would just be annoying. But in <laughs> general, if we don't have those things, like, when we go to a hotel or I typically, I don't like to sleep near the window. So most of the places we go except for your parents house i always sleep on that window side um but like most of the time <laughs> the hotel, i always sleep on whatever side the window's not like so and at our house you're on the window side i don't like to sleep next to the window so i would be fine if like i wouldn't care if you were in my spot but then all my stuff isn't there so that's like the bad thing i think most people probably have their side of the bed yeah and if you don't share a bed with somebody you probably have like your nightstand on one side that you're like closer to that side so you can grab your stuff your water whatever mm -hmm. before bed so that one i don't feel like is as much as a routine is it just kind of like convenience of having your stuff there and then i lost my question um and then for for the food piece so Hold on, but to stay on routine okay to stay but on routine I'm, real I'm quick. Getting, you, back to your routine oh, to my, on the food this oh, okay. is still about it's you still routine this is still about you this is still about your routine <laughs> i didn't want to leave routine yet we're not leaving routine okay. so for you routine you... sounds like a nice like pasta like a nice italian dish like i'll take uh the italian routine please <laughs> <laughs> well poutine is i know that's canadian yeah isn't that the fries and gravy or like something like that yeah it's like but... fries gravy okay and shit. so the food <clears throat> that's why diets like severe like not severe but like intense restriction diets don't work they're not lifestyle changes and whenever you're like oh i'm gonna go low carb or i'm gonna eat healthy <clears throat> you're like all or nothing and you do that for a while and then you fall off hard where you're like give me the cupcakes give me the brownies give me like everything unhealthy give me 17 million white castle burgers let me have popeyes let me have kfc let me have burger king let me have kfc okay we get the routine okay so so my point is is like it's moderation like Eat healthy food, and when you want a, a snack, indulge in a snack. But it's like you feel like you have to be, if you're eating healthy, you're like super strict and super healthy. But the second you break that, you go off the wall, and it's like you avoid healthy See, these food. Molly's you minds avoid. Turn into Molly just bats. No, I'm not. I'm people. just bringing. I'm just telling you why those very serious restrictive diets yeah, no, don't work because it's like you restrict yourself. Then you break, and then it's like, I need all of it. Whereas, like, if you just, in general, strive to have healthier meals, and when you want, I mean, I'm not, I definitely have, I just ate, like, an entire bag of chocolate. I'm just saying, in general, like, that's why, like, super restrictive things don't work. So when, that, to me, isn't really, like, a routine around the food, except for I know when you have it, it's like, okay, I'm going to have, like, my 17 eggs for breakfast, and then my turkey and cheese roll up. So, like, your routine in the way, like, on what you eat but yeah. i wouldn't consider that like but i mean that's routine. also routine with like breakfast lunch and dinner yeah like, so i like i mean standard. i wouldn't really say that um is like a routine um what else on routine so you didn't so so one of the things i want to talk about though it says ordering the same meals one of the things like when we moved to illinois we were like we're not going to go to the same restaurant every time like we're going to try different things we're going to eat at different places 
we're very routine in that sense. Like if we're going to order out, we always go to emails. Like we always go to the same place. If we're going to do something, it's like, right? Well, I mean, I know that my Chinese restaurant has like banging, you know, boneless bare ribs, white rice. But you never try something different. Well, because a lot of other places don't have boneless bare ribs. So it's just like, why would I go to a different Chinese spot? No, but even still the same Chinese spot, you don't try something different. You always get the same thing. Yeah, I know. Um, Because it's just good. Like if we go to Thai, you know you're getting pad to you. I know like how much money we have and I don't want to like jeopardize my meal being whack and then having to like spend another like 15 (laughs) bucks on something that like I don't want that first like I'm so hungry I'm just gonna go for something that I know now occasionally if there's a banging photo that goes with it like if I pull up to the drive-thru at Taco Bell and like (laughs) the picture is just like blows me away Mm -hmm. I'm like I gotta try that but also with Taco Bell it's like you can get your regular plus an additional thing you want to try. Yeah, but that's where like marketing comes into play. So like my Chinese, I'm going to see how many different places I can put my hat in for this video. Um, For the Chinese food spot, like they don't, they, like they need to hire a marketing guru because their pictures on the wall are just slayed and it's all the same stuff. So nothing ever pops out to me of like, oh, that's the new item of the week. Like I got to try that. Yeah. Like they're specials. Like yeah. When you go to like a restaurant, Taco like, Bell, like they special. put, like that's why they have commercials where like something they'll be like try this chicken sandwich with like fries in it and like it's melted cheese on it i'm like okay i'm trying that that doesn't even sound like something taco bell would have a I chicken just sandwich with example. melted cheese and fries but <laughs> i'm just saying like an yeah, example no, like if no, my like local chinese spot put out a national ad of like this new chinese dish that they had why would your local chinese spot put out that's all but that's what i'm saying that's why i don't try something new there is because it's all it's all just the same shit like i know what i'm getting from there whereas other places yes show me that they have a variety in the kitchen you know that the chinese place has a variety but they're not showing it to you but i think going back to your point is like you don't want to spend fifteen dollars and then you get it and it like tastes yeah, especially when I'm super hungry, yeah. And so I feel like that's probably the biggest factor is you don't want to be wasting money or food, so you just stick with what you know. And so I feel like that is the harder part of, at least in my opinion, of just trying new foods and doing different things. Like, I've never really had fish because I'm not going to order that as my meal and then get it and be like, I don't like it. So it's more whenever I try something new, it's either something I've had maybe at a different restaurant, but I don't try new foods. But but if you were adult, at a party really. or something and you tried fish right. and it was good, would you order it at the yeah, restaurant? Yeah, probably. If I, you know, because that's how I learned. I mean, I've tried as an adult a lot more things than I did as a kid. Like I'm still a really picky eater, but I'm expanding on my pickiness but as I, I also get older. Think but to go back to routine and to break it back to like, childhood it's like there there must be something like instilled in us with like routine and going about doing things the same way because like that's yeah. like how parents teach their kids like that's yeah. how we teach our daughters like mm-hmm. you'll wake up you're yeah. gonna go to the bathroom you're gonna brush your teeth you're gonna get dressed and then like you can go downstairs and have breakfast yeah. and like start your day so like we've just been like we're creatures of habit with routine where it's mm-hmm. like you wake up you do your stuff, you go to school, you come yeah. home, do your homework, eat dinner, go, you know, to sleep. And it's just like, we've done routine for so long that yeah. we're so used to having a routine Yeah. because routines like keep us streamlined and right. keep us going. Whereas if but, it was just chaotic yeah. craziness and no routine, you would have no like direction for anything. Yeah. No, I think that's Ooh, a really, I sort of just freaked that. I think that's a really <laughs> good point because yeah. routines keep you just like you said, organized structure and without a routine, like when you are on vacation and and you don't really have a schedule, you might wake up and like realize, okay, it's like one o'clock now. I haven't done anything. You just feel like so unproductive and like nothing got done. Whereas if you have a routine, I get up, I, you know, I do all the little things and I make breakfast and then I go to the gym and then I do this. It's like you can get through more things in your day versus if you're just aimlessly not doing anything, there's no structure to your day. And that's why they say kids like thrive in routine, in structure. And I think in general, 
I don't know, I don't know all humans, I've never researched this topic, but I think I do better on a more, you know, schedule versus just like, I would be so bored. I know when I'm on like maternity leave and I have absolutely no routine and the baby has no routine, it just feels so disorganized and then it feels nice to get back to work because things are just so structured again. And I like that type of environment better. And so in the general sense of routine, would you say you like having routine? Kind of just like a more structured? Yes, I like, I feel like things are better when I have a routine and it's like, there's it's, more direction. Like, I'm shocked that that is your answer. Well, I don't because usually very, have a routine. That's why, because you're very, like you are more of a, you're not a planner. Like you're not a, like what's, you know, what's our plan two years from now? What's our, you know, what are we doing yeah, here? Yeah, that's, that's like, that's not a routine. That's no, a plan. No, but <laughs> I just mean in general, you know, you might need a routine to get you. A plan. Yeah. <laughs> you need a routine to get you a plan. And no, a plan to no. get you Okay, when you're goal. thinking, yeah, like when you're thinking, okay, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to move back to New York, like what are the things, like what are the goals you have in place to do that? How are we going to make that happen? And it's just kind of like in general things you have to do and then even just like I vacation's not a good example because on vacation you don't want that routine and structure but even on the weekends like you don't you just like to do what you want to do you don't you don't want to have okay. like a routine I got it how many what else is there on routine this can be a short mile he's fine God. what's the other part no now you're just annoying me it's you're being just rude. turning into a me routine that's <laughs> The point is okay. What else is the second part of the question? I think we answered it. Returning oh. to the same vacation spots. Oh, um, no, that one I think is different. That's not because uh, like going to different vacation spots is not routine. Like Florida, I guess like there's routines if you have family members there and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But like I think for but us, you... like we had a routine. Like we don't have a routine because we went to all different. We went to Arizona. Like we went to all yeah. different places. But if we were like gonna go on like a like we want to go back to Hawaii but you we would just probably go back to Maui because we've been there we know we liked it so it's like almost like the same thing with food you know you like it yeah that's a good point and it's like the same thing like we were just but talking if you told about me we were going to a different part of Hawaii I would be fine with that too. yeah we would be fine with it and you would find things to do but it's almost like you're going to spend the money you know you liked it there like we were just talking about I where to we're going to go this summer lady. yeah and it's like oh my god I love that place I I liked that so let's go there again. So final conclusion is we are routiners. Yeah, I mean, I'm a routine person. I'm very much like a creature of habit. I'm a routine person also. Yeah. No, Molly doesn't yeah. think so. No, I think <laughs> in the larger sense you are. Like you order the same foods every time. You don't try new things. Like you're very <laughs> food-wise. Oh, okay. Food-wise. <laughs> You don't try new things, but you're also down for like new vacation spots. You're down for travel. You're down for different. I don't think it's a bad thing to say. You're you're more of like I, I would, think I'll try new things, just not like shrimp food? and fish. And I mean, you've tried like shrimp, but you're always gonna order your go to. Yeah, like you're always. You know, there's people like I don't know, maybe your brother who, if he goes to a restaurant and be like, "Oh, this actually sounds good. I'm gonna try that." That's not really your style. You're like. Oh, we're going here. I know I love their burger. I'm going to get that regardless of Chicken whatever farm. else. It, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you're getting those things. So, I mean, I think in some sense you you prefer the, the same, but then I think you're also down for different things. It just depends. All right. Well, routine <laughs> is greater than non-routine. <laughs> I don't know. Should we ask another question? We, we have more time. We don't have to go for an hour. These can be. We don't like need to quick. go for an hour. I don't want to talk to you for an hour. I have nothing to say to you. That's fine. I'm routine. Okay. All right. Cool. You can ask another one next time. Now the questions in here are kind of like dark. Lots about death. Lots about infidelity. Lots about. I I would not recommend this book. If you're going to pick a questions book, that's what's your biggest disappointment in life? What's your biggest failure? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. That's Molly's mind. <laughs>